If your data source contains geographic data, Tableau's powerful mapping capabilities provide whole new avenues for data analysis. Here's a world map showing countries where transactions have occurred. Marks are sized by sales and colored by continent. The first step towards mapping in Tableau is determining a geographic field. That is, a field that contains some geographic value that Tableau can place on a map. When you connect to a data source, Tableau evaluates field names to determine if they may contain geographic data. If Tableau thinks a field is geographic, it will add a special globe icon to it. Tableau may misinterpret field names during this process. If Tableau mistakenly adds a globe to a field that's not geographic, or misses a field that is geographic, you can right-click or click the drop-down arrow on the field in the data pane and make a correction from the Geographic Role menu. When you double-click a geographic field, Tableau will convert the geographic text in the field, such as the words United States, Denver, or the zip code 90275, into a latitude and longitude. This conversion of text is called geocoding. When Tableau geocodes a field, it places the field on detail on the marks card and actually places generated latitude and longitude measures on the rows and column shelves. Then, Tableau gets a background map from the Internet to match the geocoded marks. Sometimes, Tableau won't be able to find a match when it geocodes a value. This will result in an unknown indicator on the lower right of the map. This can occur for several reasons. Maybe the person who entered the data wasn't quite up to speed on the spelling of Massachusetts or Massapequa. Or maybe there's ambiguity in the geographic field. Tableau may not be sure exactly where to place the mark because the geographic value has multiple latitudes and longitudes. Click the unknown indicator and choose Edit Locations from the menu. In this case, some city names in Colorado are ambiguous. Tableau doesn't know whether to place a mark on Aurora, Colorado or Aurora, Illinois. Is it Louisville, Colorado or Louisville, Kentucky? When Tableau encounters ambiguity, you'll need to add another geographic field to the chart to break it. By dragging State to detail on the marks card, Tableau can now determine the correct latitude and longitude to use. If your data source already contains latitude and longitude fields, maybe for individual customer addresses, you won't even need to worry about geocoding. Tableau will map the latitudes and longitudes directly. If the field names are close to the words latitude and longitude, Tableau will detect that and place globe icons on them. Otherwise, you may assign them from the data pane context menu. Then, just drag latitude to rows and longitude to columns. Then, you may need to add a descriptive field that might otherwise act as the geographic role, such as the name of a town, to detail on the marks card. Tableau will then draw a mark for each combination of location, latitude, and longitude. Geocoding, or direct latitude and longitude mapping, are keys to Tableau's rich mapping capabilities.